So we're here with Dylan at Appalachian Harley. What do you got in your hands, Dylan? This is your stock seat from the 2019 Street Glide Special. What is this one? This is your Sun Doubter. So the demo seat, it is not the heated and cooling seat, which is what you were interested in, but it's going to give you the same feel. You hear that? I'm taking the demo for a demo ride, and if I like it, I'm getting the heated and cooled version. Thank you, Dylan. No problem. I'll see you in a few minutes. See you when you get back. Enjoy it, man. Yeah, they're letting me out by myself. I don't think they think that I'm going to just ride off because it says demo on the seat. They're right. So let's go for a quick spin. And already I can tell that is pretty comfortable. And I still need gas, so this ought to get interesting. Yeah, this thing definitely puts you up higher. I'm going to need a taller windshield. <laughs> I think he said to make a right back there, but I didn't. Whoop, bump, whoopsie. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely up higher. Uh, like I said, like Dylan said, this is the Sundowner seat from Harley Davidson. They have a demo of the non-heated and cooled version, which is what I'm sitting on right now. And it is a pretty comfortable seat. You can feel it's a little harder. Uh, it's probably got 100, 100 beer farts in it by now. No, that, that's airplane seats. But uh, it is very comfortable. See how it feels going around a corner. Oh, yeah. Well, that's nice. I think we're going to make a left and not go into the subdevelopment. And you know what I should have done was plug in the GPS where I was at that dealer. We're going to do that now. Boop -ba -doo -doo. Nav, where to, recent, Carlisle, route view, go. Whoa, walnuts falling everywhere. So my biggest concern with this seat, with any seat really, was that it does not lift me up any further because I'm only 5'8 with a 30 inch inseam. Things get sketchy on taller bikes, that is for sure. But I'm here, I'm pretty much standing up, flat-footed, seated on the bike. I've got one foot on and the toes of the other foot. See there and there. And then I can go the other way, toes up, heel down. So it's not, not much difference. If I sit just relaxed, then the sundowner seat is actually, uh, it's keeping just the balls of my feet on the ground, not the whole foot. I'm gonna have to do a, uh, I'm gonna have to sit on the other one, my stock seat again, real quick when I get back. And as soon as I click it into neutral, it's going to turn green. Yep, pretty much. You know, some people may balk it riding two hours to demo a seat. But really, it gives you a good idea of how the stock one feels compared to uh, anything else. And I had read online that uh, this seat will bump you up a little bit. Some other people said, now it's just like stock. So I had to get my own opinion on it. And they happen to have the heated and cooled seat. So if I want to pull the trigger and buy it today, I can do that. Now, some of you may be asking, well, John, how will you get the stock seat home if you buy the new one? And to that, Dylan had an answer right off the bat. He said, uh, you just go ahead and we'll strap the other one between you and the tour pack and you're good to go. And I have to turn here on Sterling Parkway. We're going in the back way. You know, that's one thing that I really do like about Harley Davidson is they have a great demo program and like the, the Memphis Shades windshields and the Harley uh, aftermarket seats, well, the Harley P&A seats and all that. You can try all those out on your own bike and get a feel for it. And this thing says, ha ha, it says I can make a left here. It's wrong. We have to go up and make a U-turn. Stupid GPS. Here it is, GPS trying to get me killed. Recalculating. We'll just pull a UE here and it will be good. So that's what I like about the Harley demo program. You just go in there, sometimes you pay a deposit, sometimes not. And then you get uh, you get some time to play around with the, the seat and stuff and figure out if it's comfortable. This definitely has a, uh, a sort of a backrest built into it, really. It's got a very defined area, I'll, I'll point it out later, that uh, it's nice. 
it really just holds you in. When you when you give it the beans, she uh, she just the whole, the seat holds you in. It's nice. I have to say it's a very comfortable seat. I do need to compare it to see if it's any higher because I really like the height that this windshield is at and where that puts my head in the wind bubble. And I wasn't really able to get it up to highway speed here to test the uh, test the air bubble. So I might have to wait on the seat. But I do like the idea of heated and cooled. Today is 85 degrees up here. What is it now? 86, 86 degrees. So the cooling would come in handy. And then uh, tomorrow morning, when it's 53 at my house, the uh, the, 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 the better, uh, the, the heating will work. Hey, we, we rode past here. And it says, we are here. Is that it on the left? I think that's it on the left. Yeah, I don't know what to think about not having the, at least one solid foot on the ground here to light. It'll make off-kilter stuff, off-kilter roads a little harder to, to navigate for me. Yeah, a short guy sucks sometimes. He said to roll on up over here, so we're gonna go do that, and voila. While we're here, let's take a look at this seat. So this deep scalloped area, this is what holds you, hold your butt in place when you're riding. And this is wider here than the stock one. Very interesting. Let's go in and say uh, hi to Dylan again. Check out this dealership. They got a ton of bikes. Yeah, live wire, 25 grand. Another one, 21.9. Look at that, Sportster S. That is hot to trot, look at that. My first time seeing one in person. Nice. Very good looking in person. And look at that, side by side next to an iron. Quite a bit of difference. Look at that, so cool. Well, unfortunately, we're leaving empty handed and empty on gas. Still got coffee, still got coffee. So we're good there. But that's Appalachian Harley Davidson, beautiful place. And now I need to find my way home. But very nice guys here. That guy Dylan was very friendly, uh, very, very much enjoyed his company. Let's nav home, huh? Which way do I go? I make a left, okay. And hopefully there's a gas station around here, but yeah. It's a real shame about the sundowner. And then I tried on the hammock seat too. I did not take that one out for a ride though. It just, it wasn't comfortable enough to take out for a ride. It just, it, it, was, it cut the difference between the stock seat and the sundowner, but it also pushed me forward a little bit, which would have been okay, but there was no room for the boys, you know, not to get too crass, but that's just the reality of life there. Not enough ballroom at that cheap hotel or something, I don't know whatever the line is. So we're gonna stick with the stock seat for now, and I do have to get gas. It says I have 34 miles to empty. We're testing the limits. I've gone over 200 miles now on this tank. Definitely looks like some rain clouds moving in. Kind of reminds me of the last scene of the Terminator. Sarah Connor driving off into the sunset. The clouds on the horizon. Dun-dun-dun, dun-dun-dun. Oh,